hi guys i'm back at it again with another video keeping it super simple today um i am actually busy with packing and everything like that so i figured this week would be the perfect week to give you guys some advice for going into high school now if you already haven't go ahead and click the subscribe button below and like and comment if you have any questions or concerns but let's hop right into it now I'm gonna get into freshman year now freshman year is easy and with that being said that doesn't mean you cheer woohoo I don't got that much to do woohoo no it just does not work that way take it from me I got so bored with my freshman year and not like there was nothing to do or anything but it was just so easy it was like middle school so I slacked off because I thought I knew it all not saying that I have bad grades because I don't have the type of parents that'll let me bring in bad grades without there being a problem but I did slack and that is going to be a major downfall for you Messing up your freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year can really affect your senior year more than you realize. You're not going to be able to get a 4.0 by the time it's your senior year if you don't start that. you got to start it as soon as possible to work that way out. With that being said, don't slack. It's going to be easy. And at times you're just going to be like, Ugh, I'll do it later don't do it later do it while you got it and just just get it done it's gonna be easy for you the year will go by fast as soon as you mess up you'll realize that you're gonna be behind the next year and then the next year and then the next year and then it's too late so that is the key to your freshman year don't slack start to think about your future with college and everything then because it really does matter then I promise now let's get into second year which is sophomore year now this year is cool this year I recommend joining clubs and sports and all that stuff your freshman year I wouldn't say join clubs and sports because it's your first year you gotta learn how to get around interact with your peers the people that you're dealing with and everything like that I recommend focusing on all of that your freshman year and then leaving all the fun stuff for your sophomore year so yes join clubs and sports your sophomore year there's always something for you at a school and even if it's not with your school like let's say you want to join like a robotics club but they don't have that at your school. There are outside programs where they offer a robotics club. And all that looks good when you try to join into college. It helps you with scholarships and everything. So definitely keep that in mind. But your sophomore year, it's going to be a breeze. But it's going to be fun. But you're not as nervous and everything. Because you've been through it at this point. You've walked down these halls before you know where you're going you can walk with more confidence and it's just a nice time but what isn't a nice time but is an important time is studying for your ACTs now I'm not saying you have to go deep into it where you're buying these ACT books from Barnes & Noble and you're going onto these websites and taking practice tests and all of that stuff i'm not saying do any of that but i am saying take the time to look over your stuff even if you don't have a test or anything just look over your stuff make sure you're understanding some things because no one knows what's going to be on your act not you not your teachers not your counselors it's a confidential test so you won't know what's on that test until you're in front of that test. So just make sure you prepare yourself. Learn different methods to solve different problems. Even if it's the same problem, 
have multiple ways of doing it. So that way, let's say you forget a way, you got another way. There's always a way to figure something out. That's just my personal opinion. I made that mistake by not studying my sophomore year. And my junior year, I just like jumped in front of the test and got an 18. So, study, 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 study. Starting now, I promise it helps. Now I'm going to talk about junior year. Now, with junior year, there are going to be a lot of distractions being thrown in your face. My junior year, I got my permit. I did key club and I knew what college I was going to kind of I knew what college that I was interested in going to that was my junior year junior well, year went by smooth for me the only thing that didn't really go by smoothly was my ACT because I waited to the last minute to study and I got an 18 and I was not happy. My parents were happy. But I was really concerned about colleges. And what I'm about to tell you will help you not have that same worry and stress on your chest. Now, with your junior year, you need to start looking up colleges. And the reason you need to start looking up colleges, I'm not saying that you have to know exactly which one you're going to go to. But at least figure out a goal that you need to aim for, especially for your ACT. So the school that I'm going to now, they want you to have an 18 or above. Some schools might want you to have higher and some schools will go lower than that. But you need to figure out a roundabout what you need to get on your ACT score so you can get into that college that you really want to go to. Just create a goal for yourself having a goal is very important if you don't have a goal what do you what is your motive for doing what you're doing so just look into it and if you do know what you're going to school for and exactly what school you want to go into take it up a notch and look at the scholarships and figure out the uh the act score and the gpa you need to have to get some to qualify for some of their scholarships just do that just create a goal now with the ACT it's hard I promise it is hard it's not impossible but it's hard you're going to get study time in school some of your teachers are going to study with you and prepare you give you a little practice test show you different websites and everything like that so you can get familiar with it but I promise you that is not enough in my head that was enough so don't be like me do better than me and study outside of school I'm not saying you have to spend three hours a day with your head in a book trying to figure out how to do this ACT thing just an extra 15 minutes a day will do an hour a week will do just do something outside of school instead of just napping or texting your friends or going out and driving now that you have your intermediate or permit around this age just stay focused have your mind on the right things that is going to be very important for you I promise now I'm going to go into senior year <sighs> I am tired it is 12 o'clock in the morning but anyways senior year this is easy really like shockingly easy so probably your easiest year of high school like everyone says senior year is your easiest year of high school but like you don't realize how easy it is until you're there I had half a day so this is my schedule I woke up at like 6 30 me and my mom had to share a car so I still had to get up early in the morning because I had to take her to work and then get myself to school so I had to get up at around 6 30 in the morning 
get ready, go to school, you know, do the whole mom thing, get that stuff taken care of. So I went to my first class. My first class was a core class. It was math. Spent an hour in there. Simple. Then I went to art. I do art. Spent an hour in there. Then I went to English. And my English teacher, this is not going to be for everybody, but my English teacher didn't care. Like, he gave us a book at the beginning of the school year, like the third day of school. And the whole year, we just went off of stuff in that book. And then whatever had a movie, we watched a movie after. So, yeah, that was that class. Easy A, right? So, I went to that class for an hour. And then I went to business law, which was an elective as well as art. And just talked about government stuff and played computer games about government stuff and went home. That was it. I had half days. It was super simple. Every class was an hour. Every class was simple. It was something. A lot of the teachers, they were super chill. Yeah, that was really it. Um, I didn't go to school all the time because, like, I know ACT's seniors didn't have to go to school. And then there was some other test that they had, like the sophomores or the freshmen, whatever it was doing. We didn't have to go to school then either. And then there were a senior, there was senior ditch day. So you don't go to school. And then prom. Well, our senior ditch day was prom, our prom skip day. So basically, schools, not all, but some schools have this thing where you don't have to come to school the day before prom so you can prepare for prom if you're a senior. And then they also have senior ditch days. But at my school, they killed two birds with one stone so we wouldn't miss a bunch of school and they put it together. So our senior ditch day was the day before prom. And of course I didn't go. So yeah, I was never at school. I was, and when I was at school, I was leaving early every day. And it was really easy. And all I had to do was focus on getting myself prepared for college. Starting the college tours and figuring out what schools I wanna to go to paying for orientation, paying for housing. I know I went to my, I did a campus tour um, October and the school year starts in August. Oh, which is another thing. Talk to your counselors and everything like that because if you're a Henry Clay High School student watching this, that school provides a form where you can get it approved by your principal in any uh, college tours that you want to go on. You can get an excused absence so you can go on it. So once you pay for it, they'll give you the schedule. And then on that sheet of paper, you fill out the schedule and then you give it to the counselor. The counselor gives it to the principal. The principal approves it and then you get the notification that you're approved and you go and you don't go to school and once again it's excused so if you don't go to Henry Clay I don't know how all this other school works I went to Henry Clay all four years so if you don't go to Henry Clay talk to your counselors about that to see if you get excused absences for college tours and even if you're not going to college I think, or if you think college is not for you, I think going on a campus tour would be the best thing just to get a feel of it. Even though you're not actually living on the campus, just to see other people be on campus and do their thing, it kind of makes you think like, huh, I kind of do want that. So if you're not sure if you want to really go to college or if you think it's not your thing, check it out. You might like it. You really might like it. And it's free. Well, not all of them. 
mine was. Yeah, it was free. So, that was a good thing to experience. But other than that, my senior year was super simple. Um, there's not really much advice to give you guys on it. Because it was really simple. Just work on college. Of course, work on your schoolwork too. But if you have half days like me, there's not going to be much of it. So, work on your schoolwork. Focus on college. Apply to as many scholarships as possible. Uh, apply to the college that you want to go to, obviously. And that is about it. Um... I would say a couple of rules that go for all grades, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or a senior. One thing that is very important is consistency. You got to stay consistent with your grades because it averages out by your senior year. And just because you got... A 4.0, just because you got all A's, basically, your freshman year doesn't mean that you're going in. You have um, A's and B's your June, uh, your sophomore year, and then all A's your junior year, your senior year. By the end of that, you're not going to have a 4.0. Even if you get all A's in, too, you're not going to have a 4.0. You have to keep up with the all A's all four years if you want that 4.0. You have to study if you want to get good grades and if you want to succeed with your ACT. It is all very important to be consistent with everything you do. Create a schedule for yourself. If you know that some days you like to make breakfast or do your hair really nice, wake up earlier. Or if you know that you're going to need extra study time some days, just schedule around that dinner time. Like, hey mom, can I eat dinner or can you make dinner at 6 o'clock so that way I won't be getting in bed at 10 o'clock because I still have to shower and study. Simple. Just balance your time right. Once again, be consistent. In high school will be a breeze I promise I promise I went through all four years of high school with no drama not a joke not an exaggeration no drama I didn't have problems with people uh, I didn't have it I didn't dislike anyone I don't think anyone disliked me if, if somebody did dislike me I didn't know about it I just focused on what was important. Even when I was slacking, I knew what was important. Mainly because I have crazy parents. But, yes. So, follow these simple rules. Don't make my mistakes. Don't make worse mistakes. Like, seriously. Seriously. And it's not hard to be a bad kid. So... Or to be a good kid. So that is it for this video. Again, subscribe below. Comment if there's anything that you agree with, disagree with, any concerns. Um, that's it. That is a wrap.